Oh, Annika, thanks so much for joining us today. Yes, I'm happy to be here and talk a little bit more about Groovy. Yes, so can you please tell us that story about Groovy and uh, the story behind the products? Why are you so passionate about the, uh, the Groovy products? Yeah, definitely. Um, I guess first off, a Groovy is a line of craft alcohol-free beers and wines. And so it's really a family business. Um, myself and my brother are the co-founders along with our parents and my boyfriend. Um, it's a really small knit group that started Groovy and we launched about a year ago. And so really what created the conception of Groovy is we've always been a very health focused family kind of trying to find that next way to better ourselves and um, be as healthy as we can. And naturally with that, we started to question our relationship with alcohol kind of individually, but really thinking about where does alcohol come in? You know, how does a hangover fit into this healthy lifestyle and um, all of that, right? And so started to do our own research and really explore what options there were out there. And at that time, I mean, a year ago, there was not really much, right? Um, you had your big guys like your Budweiser Prohibition or Heineken Zero Zero, but we really found that there was nothing that was fun and um, that really tasted like a craft beverage that we were used to drinking. Um, so that's kind of what sparked us to create a brand that resonated more with us, something that could be fun and young and social um, and something that would allow us to really stay healthy, right? Um, my brother and I are both young, and so we didn't want to think about the idea of if you're not drinking a lot of alcohol, you have to give up your social life. Um, and so that really goes with the branding, making it fun, bright, colorful, because we're proud to be a non-alcoholic beverage, something that you are happy to sip on and not hiding in the corner. Yeah, um, it sounds very uh, different from other uh, brands on the market. It sounds fantastic. Uh, uh, can you tell us about the brewing process? Yeah, definitely. Um, so to give you a little context, most non-alcoholic beers use a process called de-alkalization. Um, so this is where they brew it to full strength and then they remove the alcohol either with high heat or um, a vacuum type system. Mm -hmm. And so at Groovy, we use a different process. It's called arrested fermentation. And this means we don't want the alcohol set in in the first place. So it's a little bit more of a timely process where you brew it and then you remove it and then you brew it and you remove it. Um, but we found that this tends to keep the flavors of the hops and the wheat and the barley a lot more prominent in the beers and really transfers through to that craft um, flavor. Mm, sounds good. <laughs> so what are the different products that you offer? What are the different styles of groovy that are out there? Yeah, definitely. I have them here, so I'll kind of showcase them. So we have an IPA. This is the green can. Nice. Um, so meant to taste exactly like an IPA. It's a little bit lighter um, and a little bit more citrusy, refreshing IPA. Mm -hmm. And then we have a stout. So that's your dark beer. Um, definitely more of a winter type beer. And then we also have our Weiss. So this is um, a Berliner Weiss, which is actually a German sour wheat beer. So that's very interesting. It's only like sour um, in the market. And then we also have a Prosecco, which comes in these cute little four packs right here. And they're all single size um, bottle servings, which is also a kind of a unique feature. So you can have one and it's not gonna, it's gonna stay carbonated and you can drink it in a sitting. Um, and yeah, so they're all very low calorie as well, right? Um, along with that health aspect, if you're drinking a non-alcoholic beverage, you don't want those empty calories. So uh, the, yeah maintaining that through yeah so what are the active ingredients you mentioned health benefits what are the, the benefits uh, health yeah, so, so they're all like very clean ingredients they're actually the same ingredients that you would find in beer lots of time people are like beer but without alcohol how is that possible right um it's the same ingredients it's just really without the alcohol so um the beers all have similar ingredients it's water barley wheat maltodextrin hops and yeast Okay. Um, and then the Prosecco, that's on the wine side. And what else? Spring water, um, white wine grapes, natural flavors, and citric acid. So same oh. thing. They're all you know, short ingredient lists, clean things that you know. Um, yeah, very clean. So there's no preservatives. It's organic, is it? Or? Yeah, so there's no preservatives. Um, we do... Um, pasteurize the beers 
And that's really just because it's a non-alcoholic product. You don't want to have any chance that the alcohol is increasing in it as it is slightly fermented. Mm -hmm. Um, Not yet organic. That's definitely something we're working on, hoping that we can get there down the line. It's something important to us. So um, just takes a little bit of time to get there and source all the ingredients and whatnot. Excellent. So I can see that you're very passionate about this product. Do you have any testimonials you'd like to share or any personal experience you'd like to share with us um, today? Yeah, I mean, I don't have any specific testimonials. Um, Our website has a a bunch of reviews on it that you guys can go ahead and read. Um, Personally, I I love it. Um, I'm a big fan of the Prosecco just because I think it's one of those situations, like I said, it's a comfort level in social settings and stuff in the Prosecco especially for, you know, festivities and parties and holidays. It still gives you that fun, bubbly drink that you can cheers and sip on. And part of it's a placebo effect. I mean, you you don't even realize that you're not drinking alcohol, right? Um, But then you're not hungover. So that's the the big bonus there. Huge bonus. (laughs) Excellent. So what is your website again? Where can people Um, find you online? Yeah, it's www.getgroovy.com. Cool. And where can we find your products? Um, yeah. So online, um, right now our, our um, website only ships in the U.S. So for Canada, well.ca carries the product and ships throughout the country. Mm-hmm. And then we're currently only available in like the Toronto area right now. Um, and that's mainly independent grocery stores, um, a, to name a few of Fresh City Farm, Summer Hill Market, Cocktail Emporium, Harvest Wagon. Um, all of that's on our website, but I'm sure we can also send a list out to everyone with the local places that carry it. Excellent. Sounds great. What a fantastic product. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today, uh, Annika. And um, yeah, any last words you'd like to say to, uh, to everyone out there? Um, no, I'm, I'm excited for you guys to try Groovy. Um, I think we'll be giving you a mix of all of them so you can kind of try them and see what your favorite. Um, one point that I did want to mention, which I kind of skipped over, is so the Prosecco, this is 0.0% alcohol. Um, the beers, since they are a slightly fermented um, product, they do have trace amounts of alcohol. Um, so that's, you know, less than 0.5. Usually it's about 0.1 to 0.3. Um, so it's still a non-alcoholic product. What people don't realize is that's also the same, um, percentage that's in like a ripe banana or orange juice or whatever. Um, so just putting it in context, you know, sometimes if you're pregnant, that was one question that you often get about the beers. Um, so, you know, we never, we say it's always up to you and that's your choice. Um, that's also in the recovery space, your choice, but Putting it in context, it is the same as other foods that we eat on the daily, um, so people are aware of that. Okay, so no particular caution should be taken by certain people. No, exactly. In the recovery space, I would just say, you know, everyone's journey is is different and unique. Um, and if it's not so much the alcohol in it, but the taste of a beer, you know, if that might be a trigger for you, just always being mindful of that. Absolutely. Well, yeah. again, thank you so much, Amica. It was such a pleasure to speak with you today. Yes, thank you so much.